Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm really excited to bring to you guys this new recipe today in which I share with you how to make this amazing high growth spray that will certainly help you grow your hair longer, thicker, healthier and faster. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now before we dive into it guys, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really do love and appreciate your support and if you're new here, definitely consider clicking that subscribe button to join the family. So let's hop right into the video. So the first ingredient we're going to need for this spray will be some fenugreek seeds. Now I love, love, love fenugreek seeds because of their amazing properties for hair growth and also for skin guys. It's really great for maximizing hair growth because it contains essential nutrients that actually helps to promote that. It also um, essentially helps with um the scalp as well so keeping your scalp nice and healthy so essentially i've added about two tablespoons of that in a bowl and then i've just added some hot water to it and i'm just stirring uh gently now i'm gonna go in next with some nem powder now nem powder is one of my favorite as well it's a great source of antioxidants and nutrients that nourish and strengthens the hair from its roots so really 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 good it helps to reduce hair loss it prevents hair thinning um, essentially it just helps to make your hair nice and thick and healthy and stronger now i added about a teaspoon of that but feel free to add more guys and then i'm going in next with some moringa powder now moringa powder is a powerhouse ingredient for our hair because it has a rich source of minerals including zinc that essentially um essential for healthy hair production it also has antioxidants that are known to boost keratin production it helps to restore hair strength promotes hair growth and repair damage so absolutely amazing to have in your regimen so i added about two tablespoons of that and i'm just stirred stirred that in uh, well now i'm just going to cover the bowl and allow it to infuse for about two to three hours now you can infuse this overnight as well if you want to um, but if you're looking for like a quicker way pour some hot water to this and just allow it to infuse for about three hours so this is what it looks like three hours later um, so I'm just going to stir it here guys just to show you what the fenugreek seeds sort of look like you, sh you should have sort of fenugreek seeds that have doubled in size and that's pretty much how you know that this is ready um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do next will be to strain this because you don't want to use it as it is now because it will definitely leave lots and lots of debris in your hair which you don't want right so we're going to use um, a recap here to do this so a clean one and essentially all you just want to do is pour your mixture onto that recap and just allow it for it to basically strain Now to speed up the process, I decided to just squeeze the um, recap a bit more um, just so that it can drain a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, now we are also going to go ahead and, and strain it further later on just like you will get to see um, in the next step. Um, although now we pretty much got most of the stuff out um, which I'm about to show you this is what was left behind so you could pretty much have the powder the fenugreek seeds so all of that stuff um, in your wig cap and this is what the mixture looks like right after you strained it um, now I wouldn't recommend using it like that because it will still leave some debris in your hair so what I'm using here is a tea and um, actually no uh, what's this called uh, paper towels yeah i'm using uh, my kitchen paper towels um, to strain it further now if you've got like um a coffee strainer or um, perhaps i don't know like any other thing that you use that has like really fine holes uh, will be quite good now these paper towels are really really good because they are quite strong and i use it sometimes to like to wipe spillage in the kitchen and it really it's really absorbent pretty much so i doubled that and essentially i just poured the um 
the spray onto that again just to allow it to strain and can you see guys how the powder is literally sticking to the paper so imagine if you had used that um that spray as it was this would have been left in your hair right which you don't really want because it would mean that your scalp would be dirty and then you have to wash your hair um so it's very very important that you don't skip this this step so if you haven't got a coffee strainer definitely use uh, paper towels from your kitchen it does an amazing job like look at this look at how it really really helped us to clean that liquid completely right so essentially what you just need to do is just dispose of that and this is what you've got left behind a much cleaner uh yet very rich um uh, spray that will certainly help you to keep your hair nice and moisturized and also promote faster hair growth so i'm adding here a tablespoon of olive oil but feel free to use any other thing that you've got it could be grapeseed oil or avocado oil or any other oil you've got available now i'm going in with some essential oils i love 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 my essential oils because of their amazing properties um as i always say guys consider adding this to your diys because it helps to improve the blood flow to your scalp and in turn that just helps to nourish your follicles and promote faster hair growth so i'm using the same essential oils that you've seen before so that's peppermint essential oil and tea tree essential oil now my rosemary essential oil has run out so that's why i'm not using it in this video but if you've got rosemary essential oil definitely use that as well now i'm going in here with some mango fragrance oil now this is not necessary um, but it's something that i just wanted to add to this just to change the smell a little bit um i do love this the fruity smell that this um oil gives to my diys and yeah I, 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 yeah i just love it um so i added about maybe a tablespoon or half a tablespoon um so essentially that's it already so stir that in well until it's nice and combined and then you're just ready to transfer it to your spray bottle um that you can use to pretty much you know spray it on your head so stay with me guys in the next section of this video i'm going to uh, share with you basically how i'm applying this to my hair and then i'll sort of talk about how to use it to get the maximum result okay guys so i'm just showing you here how i'm applying this to my hair so this is like a midweek moisturizing routine for me so i'm starting on clean uh, conditioned hair and somewhat detangled now there are two days a week that i usually uh, moisturize my hair so the first day would be perhaps like on the weekend when i'm styling my hair and getting myself ready for the work week ahead and then the second time would be midweek so it could be on a wednesday or perhaps on a thursday that i would sort of moisturize so sort of put the moisture back in my hair now the first time that i do it i would take my time and sort of detangle my hair really well you know pretty much like you know all of that goodness right and then the second time most of the time i don't get the, the, the chance to do all of that detangling and you know fiddling around because like the week does get very busy i mean being a working mom having two kids lots of other stuff going on in the background to be completely honest i don't spend that much time on my hair during the week so the less the time i can spend the better it is for me so what i would normally do is just spray and go so essentially if my hair is like in a let's say in a bun or something like that i'm just going to take the bun out and just spray and just put it back right in the bun so i'm not going to spend my time there to try to detangle but this time around i just thought i would share with you basically how i am sort of detangling because i just thought it might be useful for some of you guys so essentially what you want to do you would want to spray this um uh, this spray or spray this spray but you want to spray this on your on your scalp you know your hair your your ends but pretty much all of that and then go in with an oil now just like you saw earlier the oil that i'm using side is one of my diy's oils but again feel free to use anything that you've got and then you want to use your white of comb i've been loving this detangling brush recently it makes such a difference especially when your hair is not that tangled like when your hair is really tangled it's probably not the best option but when it's not 
you know it's sort of somewhat okay um then it's okay to use the brush and it's so good i really love it um so just brush that through and then after i finish that guys i'm just twisting just like you can see here and then i'm going to move on to the next section and pretty much repeat now this tea or uh, spray that i share with you guys i usually don't wash it out of my hair because i know some of you guys probably be asked whether to leave it in or whether to wash it after i would say leave it in because i use it as a moisturizer and also as a high growth spray pretty much so i would leave it in my hair and wash my hair as i would normally do on the third week or perhaps the fourth week so do not wash this out so if you spray just leave it in if you don't like the smell there's other ways that you can use to change the smell of this just like adding fragrance oils to this now i know that fenugreek seed can have you know very uh, strong smell and obviously if you work like in an office around other people you might be a bit conscious of your hair smelling a certain way so that's why i'm quite heavy with the um what's it called the the fragrance oil just to help change the smell of this a little bit so yeah just to answer the question in advance i normally don't wash it out and i would not recommend washing it out because you want to leave it on your scalp so that it can do what it's meant to do um so essentially that's that's all i'm doing here just sort of spraying on my hair using my oil and then sort of combing through just to make sure that it's properly detangled now i was actually going for a twist out uh, after this so the next day when i took my hair out it was actually really really nice and curly and really moisturized as well so i really really love that now this spray is really good to use twice a week but if you're someone that's busy once a week is absolutely fine if you've got more time please use as often as you deem necessary so if you're someone that moisturizes your hair maybe every day it's fine to use that every day um so yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys i do hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you did it's quite important to give me a thumbs up guys please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're not already and also click your notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content from me share with your friend you know that friend that family member you believe could benefit from this and i will catch you in my next video which will be very very soon just a reminder i post on tuesdays and fridays evening sometimes saturdays if i don't post on the friday evening guys it will be on a saturday evening so thanks so much for watching until next time bye guys